Hi everyone, welcome back to the Book Box channel. My name is Bakhtawar, I review books and I make other sorts of literary content. Today I'm doing a short review of the not so short The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. This is a very popular book that's available everywhere. He's written a range of others, all of them uh, have, have like really widespread appeal. I leave some of them up on the screen. I don't own any of the others but uh, I've read a chapter of all of them here and there. I read somewhere that uh, the 48 laws of power is actually not allowed in prisons and correctional institutions. Fun fact for you. Now although I read this, um, all of it fairly recently, you can see that I've highlighted, I really got into it um, at some point. So I read all of this fairly recently but I remember many years ago I read a, like, a, like a much shorter pocketbook version of this. I don't know if that's still available but it's kind of like Obviously it has less detail and everything, and I remember reading that a long time ago and not retaining much of it, but the full form I've read only recently. So I'm going to tell you what I liked about it and, you know, the stuff that maybe I didn't like so much. So let's start with what I did like. Now, depending on um, your life experience and your age and everything, you will find, I think most people would agree with the notion that while one may be honest and filled with integrity, as, as, as many people are, that still doesn't stop um, that still doesn't stop others from forming designs on them and attempting to manipulate them. So for purposes of insight and defense, I think something like this is a must-read, um, which is also the case that the author makes. I think in the introduction, I think he makes it, that this is more to understand power dynamics as opposed to actual application. But obviously you could apply them if you want. And I think that um, I tend to think that human psychology and power dynamics are kind of universally applicable and they have been at play since the beginning of human civilization. So regardless of what your life looks like, it's not something that you can escape, although I think many people try to. But e even hermits have to deal with power dynamics and people trying to control them. So what I did like um, about this, about this book, is that it's not a good versus evil sort of story, it's not moralistic, it's not trying to give you some sort of moral lesson or, or anything, it's just a really, um, really lovely curated historical interpretation of the manifestations of power, especially the way that they've been sort of used and applied by great leaders, you know, it has everything from Cleopatra to Napoleon to Machiavelli to Balthazar Gratian anyone that you can think of, all the way from like Sun Tzu who wrote The uh, the Art of Power, which is a sort of mandatory reading for somebody who you know, who's sort of educated in political science and stuff. So it's really up to the reader what you want to take from it. You know, it even has like anecdotes and accounts, you know, of everyone, even 20th century sort of, you know, Hitler and Henry Kissinger and sort of uh, laws of diplomacy. So there's a lot in there. It's not, um, it's not just a simple read. And I like the fact that it has a bit of meat to it. You know, there's a bit of good vocabulary used, stuff is elaborated. I kind of enjoy that. Sometimes when when something is too simple, it kind of um, puts me off a little bit. So, you know, if if, this, if you were expecting a sort, of, um, a sort of summary of all the laws, there's a lot of videos that have that. You can even find them very easily if you just Google them. So I didn't see any point going through law by law. Now, what I didn't like about this is, because that's the purpose of a review, no review is going to be like 100% overwhelmingly positive, I suppose. Although, um, some books do make that mark. You can uh, scroll um, through my videos and find quite a few that, that have the 100% mark. So what I didn't like um, all that much, and I will admit that when I picked up the book I expected it to be a little gimmicky almost, and um, to be fair it wasn't. It, it was quite informative. There still are some really absurd generalizations. You know, many, many of the accounts, although they are interesting to read, they kind of seem to be put out of context or they're just simply picked out of convenience and this is something that um, I think I believe some critic also pointed out but as I read all of it I did realize that uh, a couple of incidents were even repeated and they were just told from different points of view so it was like I don't know is that bad editing what is it and in some places the kind of the tone gets a little preachy and repetitive in a, in a few places I found that it got re got a bit ridiculous also but of course I just skipped through to the, I skipped past that and moved on. And you know, in, in every, in every rule that you read, there's like, um, there's like a page or two, or like a small account or a paragraph from uh, Balthazar Gracian, who was, um, was an Italian philosopher, I believe. I don't know a ton about him, and I, I try to avoid talking about things that I don't know a lot about. But, um, so in every law he's mentioned, so it seems like, um, the author picked like a few 
really good sources and kind of recycled them throughout the text, which of course I don't mind, but um, it kind of it leaves something to the imagination, leaves something to be desired. So yeah, um, give this a read if you're curious. I, I had actually picked it up because it had been on my mind for many years. I mean, every time I went to a bookstore, I saw it and I don't know, it's curiosity more so than anything else. I do read quite a bit of non-fiction as well. And um, so yeah, that, that's all for today, folks. I'll see you next time. Make sure that you're subscribing and um, comment your experiences below. Tell me how you're faring with the, with the lockdown and everything. Are people still in lockdown or am I just in lockdown myself for no reason? Goodbye.